What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today. I bring you coverage of something I actually wasn't going to cover. Not because it isn't important, it's because over the past few weeks most of my videos uh, posted on Destiny 2 are negative ones and although most of you know I don't hate the game nor do I hate Bungie, I just don't agree with the game in its current state and the way Bungie are handling things. I have tried my hardest to be constructive in the criticism I have given, but as you guys know, if something needs to be said, I will straight up say it. What I'm going to cover today was put forth to me on Twitter by quite a few people. They want to hear an honest opinion on this matter and not a sugar-coated sucked up response. So that's what you're going to get from me. Okay, so three days back, Bungie dropped this statement to the interwebs. We've seen community discussion around XP gain in Destiny. After reviewing our data, we agree that the system is not performing the way we'd like it to. Today we'd like to describe what's going on under the hood and talk about what you can expect going forward when it comes to earning XP in Destiny 2. Currently XP will scale up when playing longer or fixed duration activities like Crucible, competitive multiplayer matches and the Leviathan Raid and XP will scale down when playing activities that can be quickly repeatedly chained, like grinding public events. We are not happy with the results and we've heard the same from the community. Effective immediately, we are deactivating this system. As a result, players will see XP earn rates change for all activities across the board. But with all values being displayed consistently in the user interface, over the course of the next week, we will be watching and reviewing XP game data to ensure that these changes meet our expectations as well as yours. Any additional updates to the system will be communicated to you via our official channels. So what's actually going on here? Basically people, Bungie have been lying to us. Now it's actually something I figured quite a while back due to seeing people reporting on it. But at the time I wasn't really interested due to how lacklustre the game is. Grinding XP for bright engrams was never really of interest to me. But to many it is and this situation was getting more and more attention, and rightly so. Basically, what I believe happens is, if you farm public events as such, you earn a set number of XP. The XP bar, as far as we knew, was the same for every new level you hit. But, in earning XP to level up and receiving that bright engram, that same amount of XP won't earn you another engram upon receiving the exact same XP. Although the XP bar still registered the same intake of XP, the actual progression wasn't being applied in full to the progression bar. This, in my opinion, is straight up scummy. What they're basically doing here is rewarding us less the more we play the game. They state, after reviewing our data, we agree that the system is not performing the way we'd like it to. Basically trying to fob off the responsibility for this as a design hiccup and something that's not intended to be in place. This I 100% believe to not be the case. This was in place in my opinion and for a reason. The reason that this company is intentionally misleading us with a false XP gaining system so we will not accumulate items as such which we can also purchase with real life money. Think about it, the progression bar XP UI was intentionally displaying false information leading us to believe the XP we gained was being applied when in fact it wasn't. That's a line in my opinion and that is some super sketchy shit. Think about this also, the only true end game grind to this game are bright engrams which are solely earned by gaining XP or spending real money on silver and purchasing these things. This people honestly baffles my brain. What are Bungie thinking? This is actually a super serious issue. They could indeed get into some serious trouble for it and the only way they could get out of this serious trouble is to pass it off as a design hiccup. I'm also hearing reports of this design hiccup still being in place and they are still lying about it. I will do further research into that though and confirm that at a later date if it is the case. But I mean people, when did it go all wrong? Tell me, we had three solid years within Destiny 1. How did it become this bad? I've said it a few times in other videos. I honestly think something is going down within the Bungie Studios. This does definitely not sound like the Bungie of old. Not in my opinion anyway. This is just one of many, many issues with this game and company. Some serious addressing is needed for sure. This backpacked by the bullshit the game has become since release and the bullshit Bungie are and even more so aren't doing is enough to crumble this as a franchise it seriously is. Let's face it, they responded to this due to being caught. They admitted it. 
this system would be still in place if no one was any of the wiser. It's just seriously sketchy for sure. But hey, this is just my opinion. There are still a lot of people out there who believe this was an accident. If you're one of them people, do let me know your opinion down below within that comments section. So we are going to move on. Luke Smith, the main man behind this sequel, tweeted this out. Next week, the Destiny 2 team will detail the system side of the December update. It includes economy updates, vendors and acquiring their gear, tokens and legendary shards, investment updates, new reward systems for armors and weapons, gameplay updates and more. Additionally, Mark Knowlesworthy and I will be answering some questions and addressing community feedback we've been reading since launch. See you soon. So hopefully people will get news as to why Destiny 2 is so shit at the minute and what they're going to do to make it a better game. I mean let's not beat around the bush here, the game is stale, the game's dry, it's basically dead too many, but that doesn't mean it can't be revived. I've said it many many times, Destiny has a loyal fanbase, one which easily forgive and forget. This game however does need some core changes made. One's covered by myself and many others hundreds of times over already, so I ain't gonna get into it, but yes, changes are needed for sure. Hopefully, these changes are addressed. I, on behalf of the few of us left who want to see this game succeed, I want to thank each and every one of you who's made your voices heard in speaking out about the issues with the game. Without us doing so, these things would not be getting addressed. You mark my words, people. If we have learned anything about the people behind Destiny, it is that they don't really address issues unless they get serious reason to do so and with many of you guys speaking out about the game this is that serious reason needed for such to be addressed so i do really look forward to hearing what luke smith and mark knows where we have to say and i'm interested in seeing if anything's mentioned about the quality of life needed to save this game although the changes would be big they are definitely needed for sure i think that's something we could all agree on also guys, we get another stream this Wednesday on the Curse of Osiris DLC. This one will concentrate on the loot we can earn from this expansion, so stay tuned to my channel for coverage on that also. But yes people, let me know what you think about the subjects I've covered in today's video. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.